So sometimes I tend to get a little overly invested in things that I, I really like. Um, you know, I am, um, I'm a big like sci-fi and like fantasy nerd and I, I really like lore and, um, you know, oftentimes like adaptations just aren't it. And, um, sometimes like, you know, series that I like follow for a really long time, take a really dumb turn and, um, you know, or, or games that I've played for a long time have like an update that just like, just sets off my brain <laughs> and, and like, you know, just, just flips the anger switch. But, um, what I've tried really hard to do, um, you know, to kind of fight my own urge, like my own, um, instincts is to try not to take any of it too seriously. I mean, it's really hard, um, you know, like, um, but I, I try not to wear any, um, any of my fandoms as like an identity. Like I try really hard, um, not to, um, you know, not to place too much like value on like my accomplishments in a game or try not to be like too competitive with things. I try to, um, I try to just enjoy everything for what it is as its own experience. And I try to go into things with an open mind and it doesn't always work. There's, there's absolutely been moments where I, um, <laughs> you know, it still bothers me that they turned the Enterprise into an Apple store. I didn't want to see Spock uh, punching Khan for six minutes straight of a movie. That was so irritating. Like, no one asked for, like, Tyrell and, like, Kali, Kali, like, romance arc in The Hobbit. Like, Tolkien was so, um, you know, for lack of a better word, racist. Like, he would have never wanted a dwarf and a hobbit to have a relationship. Like, um, you know, I... I didn't like Celebrimbor's uh, portrayal in Ring of Rings of Power. I thought like that it was like so frustrating that we get a character like Rey, like just some Mary Sue in Star Wars after you had like this badass of a character like Leia. Like you know, like Carrie Fisher just killed it in the original movies. And then what do you you know like? Natalie Portman's actually a good actress, but they never did anything with her in in the prequels. And then, like, you know, no offense to Daisy Ridley, it's totally not her fault. It's the writing, but it's like, come on, come on, you know? Like, um, it was frustrating that um, you know, that they just straight up replaced Glorfindel's entire existence to give Arwen something to do in the Lord of the Rings movies. Because, like, I don't know, like, um, I wish they had included, um, Hermione knitting, like, little pieces of clothing to liberate the house elves, even though they didn't necessarily want it, because it would have reflected really poorly on her character, and it would have made her a more interesting character in the movies, like, showing the, like, you know, she isn't just, like, some really clever, supportive character. Like, she's a, a, you know, a flawed human that, um, decides to do what she wants. Maybe not, like, you know, she decides to do what she wants for her own, like, feelings instead of caring about what other people or, you know, house elves or whatever, like, actually wanted. Like, that would have been so much more interesting. It, it's really, it's really frustrating for me sometimes. Like, um, you know, because I'm like kind of invested, like, um, but I can't, I can't let it ruin my enjoyment. Like, I, I really just try to go into stuff with an open mind. Like, um, the most recent, uh, D and D movie was so good. I, I was, so happy they actually bothered having practical effects like when they fell through the sand pit they fell through an actual pit on the movie set there was real sand splashing around it and it looked amazing and you know you like you don't get stuff like that usually but i can still go back and watch the 2000 dungeons and dragons movie and laugh 
completely at Jeremy Irons just chewing the scenery for two hours. It's amazing. Like, they, 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 you know, they knew the movie was trash and the acting so bad it was enjoyable. But, like, I, um, so I try really hard, like, um, to just go, okay, I've got this. Like, you know, it, it may not, it may not be perfect. Like, you know, I may take issue with some aspects of how the Brotherhood of Steel are portrayed in the Fallout show, but the show is so good that I'm just going to forgive it. I'm just going to, like, try to just enjoy it for what it is. I'm not gonna, like, agonize over, uh, the fate of New Vegas because of the implications of the show. I'm just gonna enjoy the show. Like, I'm just going to be happy to have more of the thing I love instead of being angry at, like, one little irritating element of it. Like, um, you know, I, I just, I try really hard to just be able to enjoy things. And, um, you know, it is really frustrating, um, when, uh, you know, especially... I don't know, the past, like, like, 10, 15 years, like, seeing, um, like, you know, I, I didn't like the choice of casting for Yennefer in The Witcher show. Like, Yennefer was supposed to be Polish. Like, it, you know, it, there's not a lot of, of, of Polish folklore. There's not a lot of Polish books. Like, um, you know, I, not every... Not every series, um, n like not every movie, needs to be from the uh, the, the perspective of the modern, like <laughs> modern diverse melting pot of the United States, because other countries and cultures exist, and you know, like um, I, <laughs> you know, like I I don't need it, like I I don't I don't want stuff <laughs> in. In, in movies and shows and games that pull me out of the, um, of the escapism, of the experience. Like, I do want to just be able to, to go in and enjoy things for what they are. And there are absolutely moments where I get frustrated that, like, you know, there's some, some, like, <laughs> you know, some political reason that something's in there, or there are some, like, lore being trampled on, or there was some, like, really stupid choice that I, you know, left me thinking about the choice instead of enjoying the rest of it. Like, there's been so many times in games that I'm thinking about, like, why did the developer do this instead of, like, it actually being en engrossed in the world anymore? And I, I don't, I don't like that, but I, I really try not to let it get to me and um you know and and like I try you know I try not to go around like um like wearing my my hobbies as like as an identity because um at any time <laughs> that can be taken away from you you know like you you can't just you can't be a Star Wars fan um because people will want to to talk to you about stuff they don't like about Star Wars and like maybe you you know have stuff you really do like or you know like you can't even mention <laughs> you know on certain websites like if you enjoy like a game because of like the slacktivism <laughs> like people are like oh I will bully you for enjoying a game from a franchise that you grew up reading <laughs> you know like it is um it's really, like, it's really easy to get swept away in, in, like, you know, in anger and frustration. And it's, it's really easy to, like, just hyper fixate on things that are annoying or frustrating. But I, I just try, I try hard not to. <laughs> like, um, I, uh, I like trying to go into everything with, like, an open mind and, you know, and a clean slate, I mean, if, you know, you, like, there's, you know, even if you clean a slate, like, there's gonna always be the remnants of what was there before, but, like, you know, I, I really try to give everything a fair chance and see if I can enjoy it, because if I've already made up my mind that I'm not gonna like something, then, like, why am I even bothering? 
so you know like I um I was pleasantly surprised by the fallout show and I was disappointed as expected by the lord of uh the ring by rings of power and um you know <laughs> I I know I can flip a coin if I'm gonna like um any new star wars thing and um you know I um <laughs> I don't think we're ever going to get an Elder School 6. I, I don't believe it's ever happening. I believe that they're just going to keep milking everybody with Elder Scrolls Online. And they're just going to refuse to give us any more single player games. And after Starfield, I don't even care anymore. Like, you know, uh, I will wait to be disappointed by Dragon Age 4 instead. <laughs> like, I just, um, I, I take, I take everything with a grain of salt. And, um, you know, I get to be extra happy when it's good. And I, um, I try not to, like, I try not to let things that don't really matter, like, stress me out too much otherwise. Um, I don't know. That's, that's kind of how, how I feel about it. Um, there is absolutely, um, times where I, um, where, like, you know, I mean, I stay mad <laughs> that, um, that, that Bioware ever made Anthem, right? I'm gonna be mad that Starfield was trash because I looked forward to it coming out for years. Like, I would have preferred Elder Scrolls 6 come, uh, of course. Like, um, I, um, <laughs> I would have absolutely wanted a game like it made by somebody else, but, like, you know, um, <laughs> Bethesda's strong suit was environmental storytelling, right? Like, there's nothing but rocks. There's nothing but like, <laughs> but just like randomly generated rocks. Like, um, I, the only thing I have like left to look forward to with Starfield is if they ever decide to open mod support and I can like, you know, put some game in it myself and, and download other people's mods where they've made some game too. But I mean, you know, like, <laughs> I, I, I I I do get mad. Like um I I do get frustrated, but I I try to just I don't know. I try to just wait and see. Um and um I, and I try really hard not to take things too serious. Um you know, I, I don't always succeed. Um okay, uh take care.